what I said was totally out of context from what I meant because I have been talking about helping coal country for a very long time and I did put out a plan last summer and it was a misstatement Wow yeah. What do you make well, of this, Laura? Well, first of all, Hillary doesn't usually say she's misstated anything, so I guess that's progress. But hmm. she meant what she said. Uh, and, and remember that great uh, profile, I think it was on 60 Minutes, Maria, that, um, that was done on, I think it was one or two families in, in Kentucky, West Virginia. What's happened to these good people? They went from making $85,000 a year in, in the coal industry to uh, trying to support a family on food stamps. And trying to, you know, buy Christmas presents with uh, a few extra dollars that they have because there are no jobs there. So the idea that Hillary is going to come in and what turn West Virginia and Kentucky into like a high tech corridor, it's 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 obscene what's been done to these people. But these are the forgotten people, the forgotten uh, workers who work with their hands, who are, are are patriotic, good Americans who don't want welfare. They don't want a government handout. They want their jobs. And they, they don't want to pollute the environment. Yeah. And if there are problems, the problems will be dealt with. They want their jobs. They don't want to be demonized as dirty coal, as dirty workers. And, and that, that sound bite, I played it on my radio show at the time, that was so telling. They looked down their noses at these people. And the, and the people in the great state of West Virginia and Kentucky especially, they know it. They know it. They feel it. And I think this election could be their revenge by the time it's all said and done. Yeah. So when you're saying she meant it, you're saying she meant what she said when it was back put in the March. Coal when she said, Look, we're gonna, we're, you're going to put, put the coal, coal companies, companies out of business. Out of business. Right. Yeah. The, the restatement after and the fact, the post hoc restatement, I don't believe that far than I could throw Hillary, okay? Mm. <laughs> she, she, they want to put Especially, it out of business, yeah. and Obama's done that. Obama has done that to a lot of these companies. Some of my old interns, uh, the families are in the coal business. I've been hearing about this for, you know, a decade plus, but especially since. Uh, Obama has been in office. It's been despicable what they've done to these communities that are already, frankly, uh, not doing all that well in the era of globalization. Yeah, which, which is why it was hard to hear Hillary say, oh, no, I, you know, I, I want to help jobs in coal, and I've been saying that for oh, a yeah. long time. Because she yeah, hasn't well. been saying that for a long time. No, She's it's been all, saying it's, the opposite you know, for a long time. Yeah, the, her words came back to bite her. And so the, the, the documents weren't classified, but they were. I mean, it's all, mm -hmm. it, it, these words are all fungible with the Clintons. That's how it's always been. Laura, thank you. We'll be listening Thanks, to guys. you. We'll see you Good soon. To see you, Maria. Laura Ingram joining us there.